On this video, I'm going to show you how to create an image using the universal packet driver for Symantec GOES. First thing you do is be sure that you are in a network. That network will have a router that would assign the IP address that we're going to be needed for this imaging. Let's get started and go ahead and get on this computer. The first thing you need to do is go to Start, All Programs, and select Symantec GOES. Within Symantec GOES, select Ghost Cast Server, where it says Session Name, go ahead and make a name for it. I'm going to put mine, My Session. Be sure that the create image is checked. Where it says image file, go ahead and select the browse. Find a place where you're going to save it. I created this image before for the computer, so I'm just going to go ahead and overlap it. Where it says, be sure, where it says more options is checked. That way where it says command line, you can type in negative split equals zero. By putting this, it will create an image only with a single file compress. Without it, it will create multiple and may cause issues later on. After that, go ahead and press accept client. This computer that we're going to create an image is a Dell Optiplex 780. We'll go ahead and power it on. There are some features that have to be sure if they work. So let's go ahead and go to the BIOS. Inside the BIOS, there are multiple selections. I'm going to go ahead and select boot sequence. On the boot sequence, you can set up what order you want the files to load up. As you can tell, mine is assigned to load up CD drives first. If you're not going to assign the boot sequence first, you would have to press F12 or whatever other type you're going to use on a different imaging for the computer to select it. Next thing you need to be sure on on Dell, you would have to select the session configurations and then underneath it, it says integrated NIC. Be sure that enable with Pixie is checked. On other computers, you would have to look around and be sure that the NIC or Pixie feature would have to be enabled also. Without having the Pixie, this whole disk that we created will not work. So let's go ahead and go to the regular computer. I'm going to image. I'm going to go ahead and open up this CD drive. Here's the disk that I created from last video. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Once I put the CD in, I'm going to go ahead and restart it. Remember I set up the boot sequence so I don't even have to do anything. Just put the CD. Right now, the CD is loading. Once the semantic ghost has loaded, having the CG inside is not needed at all. Whenever you receive a message that says about semantic ghost, 
go ahead and press enter. Now, the image that we're going to create is in a network. We're going to use GhostCast to connect with it. There are many other features that you can by just adding an external hard drive and just image it across to it. But we're going as a network. Underneath it, after selecting GhostCast, be sure you select Multicast. You will get a message that says go session name to join. Well remember that we just created a name session on my laptop. That's the name that I'm going to have to join right here. I'm going to go ahead and type it in and then press tab a few times then press enter that way you will select the OK. On this selection, be sure that you select which partition you're going to use. By choosing the wrong partition and creating an image, then trying to deploy, this will cause a big issues later on. After you selected which one, press tab and then press enter on OK. There are many different ways that you can compress the image file. You can save it in the image as a compressed file, a very big compressed file, or just running as a very fast image. I'm going to go ahead and select the fast one that will not take that much time. Once you have selected that, where it says proceed with image file creation, go ahead and press yes. Right now, it is checking the NTFS volume to be sure if nothing bad is wrong with that hard drive. Once it makes sure that nothing bad was happening, it will then start creating the image. While that loads, here's another look on my laptop you can see that this image is being run at the same time also. Creating this image will take a few minutes and I wouldn't think that you would want to wait for 20 minutes on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and get back once we get used to that point. Right now you can tell that this computer is finishing the last updates for the imaging. As soon as it finished, I'll show you a list to be sure that the image has been created. It would be stored here on this laptop. The image is almost done. It is about 20 more seconds remaining. We'll see what happens in a few seconds. Once it finally finished creating the image, here it says image creation completed successfully. After image is done, it doesn't matter. You can go ahead and press continue and then you can quit the semantic does because we don't need any more. We have created the image. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. You would get a menu that would say batch file missing because we have just removed the CD. To get rid of that, just press Control Alt Delete. And I'll just restart the computer. You can see that the image has fully been completed. After the transfer shows, you can go ahead and press OK. The image has been fully created. The computer restarted normally. You can exit that. We can go to Start All Programs, go to Semantic Goals, 
I have the Ghost Explorer. In a Ghost Explorer, go ahead and press open. Find where you created your image at. The image is created right here. Select it. Optiplex 780. It could take a few minutes for it to load. Once the file has fully created, here's an exact replica of what the files are stored here on the hard drive. Later on, I'll create a video on how to restore this image to multiple computers. For right now, this is how you create an image using the Semantic Ghost Universal packet driver. Thanks for watching.